Hey guys, it's me, Ichigo Kurosaki. Um, I'm going to be doing a list of Naruto characters that I wish I would have seen more in the series. You know, so basically what I'm basically saying is um, they might have been sh they might have been shown a lot, or they might not have been sh shown enough, but you get what I mean. Like, some characters, they didn't show enough battles with, they didn't see a lot, I mean, we didn't see them a lot. And some characters, they showed them a lot, but they did not give enough background on them, you know? So it's that kind of thing, and um, ten is not the worst, one's not the best. You know, I'm not doing least the greatest or greatest the least. Just letting you know. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so we have Minato. Which is Naruto's father. Um, personally, I wish I would have seen him a whole lot more in the series. I mean, the last battle when Kaguya and Madarado came. Ignore that sound. That's the wash that my mom clock that my mom brought, which is really annoying. But anyways, um, I wish they would have showed him a little more. Not only that, I wish they would um would have showed his childhood. That kind of thing, you know, more about his clan, you know, like, because you see, how can I put it, even though he's married to Kushina Usamaki, he's from a completely different clan, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, it looks like, um, Namazak, Namazakai, Namazaki, something like that, um, I wish I would have put more background about his clan as well, with the family that he's from, his childhood, his um teammates, his sensei, that kind of thing, you know? They didn't do a lot of that. You know, they didn't do any of it. Actually, I thought about it. They didn't put anything about his childhood in there, you know? You know, and I wish there would have been a whole lot more battles with him, that kind of thing. Um, What made him become Hokage? You know, they, they didn't do enough with him. But, I mean, other than that, he's a good character, and I'm happy that they at least did have him in there. And at this final battle, you know, that was really good, you know. All right, let's see what character we have next. So we have Zabuza Mamochi. Um... With him, personally, uh, that battle with him was not really that long the first time he showed up, which was in the original Naruto series. I wish that battle was a whole lot longer. Um, when he was brought back to life and shipping in, you know. Or a matter of fact, I, even if he didn't die at all, shoot, that would be nice. Like, maybe if he was just still alive and... This will be really good. The, I'm not saying, like, this will be a good idea. Um... What I thought would, would have been interesting, I already knew this probably wasn't going to happen anyway, but if Zabuza and Haku became good, you know, that'd be kind of cool, in my opinion, you know, and fault and all that, that'd be nice. But yeah, other than that, I just wish there was more fights with those with those guys. Um, Zabuza, definitely. You know, I wish I would have fought him. And a good battle would be Zabuza versus Yugetsu. I wonder how that would go. <laughs> you know? That would be, like, really interesting. I wonder who the heck would win. But, um, alright, we got a few more characters to see what we have next. Okay, so we have, um, Shukumaru's father. Don't know how to pronounce his name. I know his last name is Nara, which is the clan that they're from. You know, um, but um, I wish they would have gave more background on his clan again, just like some of the other characters. You know, because their clan is quite interesting. The way they fight, they how they use their shadow to battle. You know, I'd like to see more of that, you know. Just basically what, what their clan is all about, you know. Some more clan members. That's another thing. I'd like to see some other people. What about Shukumaru's mom? What does she look like? What does she do? You know? So that's another thing. Not only that, they didn't have... Actually, I think there was only like 
one battle with his father in it, you know? And I wish I would have seen him fight a lot more so I can see what his full potential is, you know? And never really got to see that. You know, and he, uh, I know he worked with Eno and Choji's dad as well. Those are other two I'd really wish they would have put more background on, especially Eno's dad. You know, he is really strong. I wish they would have showed him a lot more as well. But, um, yeah. Let's see what character we have next. Got a few more. So now we have um, Kimimaru of the Kaguya clan. Um, not the not the girl Kaguya, but <laughs> that's the name of his clan. Um, I gotta say, out of all the sound form members, he was definitely the best. I wish I could have seen him fight a whole lot more, you know. And that I love his curse mark state. Out of all the curse marks, if I were to choose one, it'll pro I'll probably have to choose Kimimaru's curse mark. Or Sasuke's, but um, probably his because that one's really cool you know especially the pattern that it comes out on I like that and not only that I would really like to know more about his clan does everyone in his clan fight with bones you know like it's it's weird you know that's another thing I wish they would have shown more about his clan you know <laughs> that, that would be really interesting I really like to know about his clan and all that um his childhood Though this shows some things of him when he was a kid and all that, like when Orochimaru found him and all that, but it didn't explain a lot about, you know, his clan and things like that. That that would have been really nice to know. And if there are any more Kaguya members, you know, like it was his clan wiped out? Is he the last one? Like how is it? You know, they didn't do that. They should have done that. Um, yeah, but he he's really interesting, and that, just the fact that he, that he fights with his own bones. Like he pulls out his arm bone and it's like a sword sort of and all that. <laughs> it's so cool. You know. But um. I know this has been a long time but I still got some more characters. I'm sorry. Let's see who we got. Okay so now we have Hanzo. Um. I'm going to say something quickly. Uh. When I basically, um, I don't care about him battling at all. I don't want to see him fight anymore. He's stupid. He's dumb. Um, I don't like him. Plus, his character, his voice does not match his character at all. Like, his character looks very tough and scary. But his voice sounds like an everyday average person to me, you know. So, it does not match at all. But what I really want to know more about is where, where he's from, what made him and Mufune enemies that kind of thing you know I want to know more about his background I don't really care about the battles he was in I don't really care about him it's just I'm gonna know some more background on him um, more about his clan his family that kind of thing let's see what character we have next Okay, so we have Kaguya Atsushiki, something like that, I don't know how to say her last name. But, um, personally, I wish she would have came a whole lot sooner. She, um, she's my number one favorite Naruto character. I know a lot of people are probably turning off this video right now because everyone hates her. But, um, <laughs> anyways, um, the reason why she's on this list, I wish I would have seen more fight with her, you know, that kind of thing. I wish she was in there longer. And... Not only that, I wish they would have shown more of her clan. I would really, really like to see her, like some more of her clan members. They did show some like in the last movie and some other ones, Boruto and all that. They they showed some of their clan members, you know. But I would really love to see more and you know more. No more background on their clan. How did they get the power that they had? They got you know that kind of thing, you know. How do they possess all those kind of things? All, what made them the strongest clan? What what village are they from? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. 
But again, they didn't mention that. You know, they didn't give enough background about the clan. And I would really like to know more about Kaguya herself as well. You know, they gave a little bit, but um, not that much. You know. But um, I got two more characters. Let's see who we got. Okay, so we have Shisui Uchiha. Um, I've got to say, after using him on the Naruto Storm 4 game and all that, he has a tremendous amount of power and all that. And he was in the series, but I didn't really get to see him fight, you know? I got to see him fight a few Shinobi and stuff like that, but I never got to see, like, a big full battle with him. And he never got to see him use his, like, true potential. You know, and I wish they would have had him in there longer, you know? Like, he he was really nice. He was an awesome fighter. I, I liked him a lot. And they should have put him in there a lot more. Only that his speed is tremendous. I got to say, the fastest Naruto character. He's even faster than Guy, in my opinion. You know, you might disagree. Go ahead. Uh, it's all about opinion. But I, I liked him a lot. And I wish they would have gave more background on him as well. Like... Whose side of the family is he on? Like, I know he's an Uchiha, but, like, is he, like, how can I put it? Like, is he a sibling of Madara, Obito? Is he, like, is he Itachi's younger brother, older? Like, that kind of thing. Like, who is he? I know he's not with Itachi. I guess they're, like, cousins or something, but whatever. You know what I mean. But, yeah, they, they should have had him a lot in there. But, actually, before I go on, there actually is rumor right now that um, if you've been reading the Boruto manga... There's a character in there named Shin, Sheen, something like that, with a whole bunch of eyes all over his head. And there's rumor going out that that might be Shisui. I don't know if that's true. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that's what I've heard. I heard that there's rumor going around that that is Shisui. And uh, I don't know if it's true or not. But uh, I got one more character. Let's see who we got. So we have Yugita, Yugita, something like that. Um, I gotta say, she was really awesome. She's a two-tailed two cat thing, whatever. You know, she's awesome. I wish they would have had a whole lot more battles with her in it. You know, just from that one fight I saw with her against Hiran, and um, that was really awesome. Plus, again, I played the Storm game. I played her. I use her a lot in that game. She's really nice fighting, and I wish they would have showed her a lot more in the anime. You know, I'd really like to see her fight more. And they did have another battle with her when she got reanimated. But again, it wasn't enough. I wanted, I wish I had more. You know? That kind of thing. You know, she was really good. You know? Um, yeah, I, I, I did like her. She's, she's pretty good. I just didn't have enough. And also, I'd like to know more about her clan as well. So like some of the other characters. Um, what other clan members does she have? You know, the kind of thing. Um, but um, that's it for this video. Um, I am gonna make a part two, just to let you know. I don't know when, but um, keep up to date so you can know. I I will have a part two of this, but um, for now, you know what I'm gonna say: like, dislike, comment whether it's positive or negative. Like I say always, as long as you give me feedback, I'm good. Ichigo Kurosaki's out. Peace.